Maybe this is hashtag Tom's tournament. We've been saying it for so long. When is he going to have that ever elusive victory? Into Mbappe, into Messi. Oh my word. Oh my word. A moment. He looks like he's going to explode with celebration any moment. And there it is. England four. Argentina go through. Resende and 11s are in the final. Unbelievable scenes. Maybe he could be our e Premier League champion. Yeah, yeah, it means a lot. Obviously, coming in like the highest seed on PlayStation, you feel like you should be in this sort of position. Um, but yeah, every game as it comes now, there's a final to focus on. Um, and then the cross console final, of course. So it's good to be here, but obviously the main aim is, is to win the whole thing. So no one really remembers the finalists and hopefully I can be a winner this time. But here, of course, but if you can knock him off, you know, he's he's arguably, like Brian was saying, the best PS4 player in the world right now. Evaluate this situation and regain possession. Here's Pogba then, maybe a chance to go forward himself. And it's Pogba on the right foot. The Elastico sent the defender to the shops, but again, the success that he could potentially bring here. And he's got to deal with Tom once again, and Pogba it was a little bit of a catalyst for that first chance that he had. He's stepping forward once more. De Bruyne into Firmino! And sometimes Tom can make it look so simple as Watford now take the lead. Well, there's a half-time whistle then. And the goal was just on the stroke of half-time. So Watford won to the good now against Chelsea. And Tom showing why. He is, he's another one of those players who has developed right in front of our very eyes across the last few years. And FIFA 20 really has been Move. the shining time for him. Well, Alexander-Arnold is continuing his run. Beautiful passing play here from Tom. Just needs that finishing touch, but... Alexander-Arnold has actually pulled across to... Tom is actually going to be the one queuing the balls here for a change. He's trying to get faster. around. David Luiz and... To see if he can nab a goal and equalise here, but he has left a lot of room on this right-hand side. And Alexander-Arnold's going to be happy to pick that room up and advance himself. The two Liverpool players combining on that far side here. And for Watford's Tom, he's found his way into the box. Trezeguet again tests the goalkeeper. I mean, that scoop turn is always deadly. 
And I'd say that a lot of goalkeepers in this game would not save that. I've seen it go in so many times, but Pope has been such a big influence. Pogba now turning on the edge of the box, gets that ball in, Tom in again, and Tom in for a second now. Quick pass in play, a simple finish from Firmino. And Hammond had to keep this one tight, he had to keep it close, but now there's daylight between the two players. Trezeguet inside the box. Well defended though by Tom, he'll put that ball out of play, and at the end of the first leg here, it will be hashtag Tom representing Watford. He'll have a two-goal advantage. And here's Pogba then. That's a beautiful ball into the feet of Trezeguet. Little hill to hill from Tom, just trying to work his way into half a yard of space. He's going to get it back here and turn back onto that left foot. Gets the scoop turn and the shot away, but Kante... What a slide. Gets enough on that to send it out for a corner, but good pressure here from Tom. And maybe a chance from the corner here for Mares. Scoop turn to try and beat the man, but Hammond doing well just to push him far enough away where there's not going to be a shooting opportunity and something he has been able to do successfully throughout these games against Tom and FaZe Tass. I killed him from Kevin De Bruyne oh, and no. there's loads of space here for Trezeguet and you can't afford to give Tom that much room in any area of the pitch on FIFA 20 because he will make you pay Trezeguet left unmarked a quick bounce back now from Hammond as he finds himself three down. Yeah, Trezeguet is in here, and if he can cut it back, St. Maximin was waiting. Just flow forward and try and score a goal. Here is Bobby Firmino. He is oh. going to almost find the back of the net, but sometimes things just don't go your way, and the upright once again denying. Ten minutes or so till half time, you can see that Hammond has queued up a pause already. He knows that he has to make some changes here if he wants to get back into this game, but for Tom. Oh. It's starting to look like a case of how many at this point as he works another great opportunity. And Tom is the man with the ball at his feet once more. Mr. Bruyne tries to turn away from Masawaku. It will be a free kick here on the edge of the box. No Ooh. chance, maybe. For Tom to go direct, tries to take it quickly. He will win the ball back here with De Bruyne. Gets it on the left foot, and there is the second in this game for Tom. The trademark celebration once again, and surely Watford are marching towards the final. Into stoppage time now. Tom, once again, the man with the ball at his feet, just stepping forward, and a third here would extend that lead even more. As Pogba plays in St. Maximan, one Frenchman to another. Trezeguet just wide of the upright. There's a half time whistle, will go. That could have been five as well if uh, Trezeguet had been able to find the target side in Bucharest. So a potential rematch unless Mike Marley can shake things up. And space on this far side here for Tom, and he's just looking more and more dangerous every single time he goes forward. St. Maximan's going to beat his man. It's as simple as you like for Trezeguet. And hashtag Tom and Watford. Well, call it now. This one is surely over. Now, here's the performance of Tom. He's been absolutely superb. Trezeguet twisting and turning, forces another save from the goalkeeper. Pull back almost immediately once more, though. You can see headsets off here for Tom. He knows the game is done. Who are going to be some of those players that you can use in the E-Premier League? Maybe Messi, perhaps? It's Trezeguet. Charles for Hammond. And finally, he will get a consolation. A little smile on his face as well. It was one giant too many in the form of hashtag Tom. As we go into stoppage time here, it's been a formality for a while. As the final whistle will go, and hashtag Tom representing Watford will move into the grand final. And hey, you can't argue with it. It was a thoroughly pre professional performance from him in, in every single aspect. How surprised are yeah. you of what's kind of unfolded tonight? And did you expect your mate, Fanatic Tex, the E Lion, with you to go out? Uh, obviously, I'm surprised, but I also I watched Mark play Shorey, and I knew he was a very good player then. But hashtag Tom's got to a cross console final. He hasn't been able to win a trophy yeah, yet. This is huge in FIFA, and the chance is here in the E Premier League. And Tom, like this is this is everything he could have wanted, right? The whole season he's been phenomenal. He's been incredible, but he hasn't had that win. Final event, FIFA 20. This is his opportunity. In our grand finals here, this is the last game that we will have before we crown our E Premier League champions. It's Tom now, with Pogba turns back inside. That's a beautiful ball back inside. Quick passing now from Tom round the corner into Bobby Firmino. Turns onto that left foot, fake shot from Tom! And quicker than a hiccup, he's into the lead here in our grand finals.
Well, Tom just looks like he's oozing confidence right now on this quick passing. He's causing Mark Marley all sorts of problems. De Bruyne in for the second, but he just scoffed his shot. I think the pressure. A chance for Tom to go forward about half time here in our grand finals of the E Premier League. It's Watford that lead by a goal to nil. A goal to nil and a deserved goal as well. As Kante turns that ball into Trezeguet, who's been an absolute superstar for him now, and just a, a little sighter at goal there for Mark Marley. Well, maybe this could be one of them. Firmino's going to feed the ball inside the box. Trezeguet gets away from his man, but can't beat the outstretch. Pope in between the sticks, a big chance there. Does superbly well there to defend in the last moments, and that will be the last moments of our first leg. I think Mark Marley's going to be completely fine with that. I think it almost if you would have said, you know, you're going to be 1-0 going down on the PlayStation onto your preferred console now on the second leg. I think he would have gone, I'm not too bothered with that, to be honest with you. I'm quite happy to then try and make that lead up. And like Tom leading 1-0, probably Mark Marley might be a bit happy with that result. The wait is over, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for bearing with us, and it's time for the second leg now comfortably in the first half of the first leg and it looks like he's trying to do more of the same here. There's Mares, a little bit of space here for De Bruyne, gets it onto Ooh. that left foot and being rewarded for it as he's now moving that ball nice and quickly around the 18-yard box and this is difficult to deal with if you're defending right now. A couple of step overs from Trezeguet inside. What a save. Testing the goalkeeper already but Allison was equal to it. Trezeguet has found Pogba in a bit of space here. Goes back inside, Pogba gets it back and it's a second! Here for Watford, and a second here for Tom. And how vital that goal could be. That could be the goal that crowns hashtag Tom as the E Premier League champion. Because Tom really is in the ascendancy. Going forward just looks so, so strong. Well, here's Firmino now. He gets through again against Van Dijk, and oh, it's gone to ground. And it is going to be a penalty here. The Elastico. Baited the challenge. Oh no, not Pogba. Yeah, it's going to be Trezeguet who steps up here to make it 3 0 on aggregate for Tom, but it's saved! What Mark Marley is save. alive! Huge, huge save in the grand scheme of things for Mark Marley. 3 0 and it's game over. Success in this game that he found against Tex because that offside trap has been pushing those defenders up and not allowing him to do so. Well, the job is simple. Stop Mark Marley scoring, but this is not the start he would have wanted. What a tackle that was from Pogba somehow. It'd have been a danger here for Tom. Trezeguet back onto that right foot, but can't beat the goalkeeper. Pope with a huge save. Again, the interception superb. A little bit of fortune here going to Mark Marley, though. Louise steps in once more. He's been a towering monster. You know, that centre-back position, but he's going to be called in once more. Chance for Mark Marley, it's 2-1. And he's back in the game with eight minutes plus stoppage time. And is the Cinderella story still alive? And instincts will tell Tom, yeah, just to hold on to that ball. He is looking nervy. You can see it both visually and in his gameplay, but it's just a matter of eating away at this clock now. Added on time, I can't imagine it being more than two minutes at this point. And it's going to be a throw in just to slow things down a little bit more. Take a breather now for hashtag Tom. Two minutes of added on time for Mark Marley to try and grab an equaliser. But he's won the ball back here with Masawaku. And now the West Ham man is pushing his team forward. Ball in behind. Is he offside though? He is. And that might be it here. All year, everybody has been saying that Tom deserves a trophy, and now he has won. Watford are your E Premier League champions. Congratulations to Hashtag Tom. You've done it. And that's what a first major trophy looks like. £20,000 for Tom as well. But he's finally done it, Mark. He's won the ever-elusive trophy. He's just not quite been able to get his hands on. We can finally call him a major winner, the E Premier League champion. Amazing stuff from Tom. W-A-T-F-O-R-D. Ole, ole, ole. Hashtag Tom is the E Premier League champion. And boy, does it feel sweet for him. You can see what it means, Dan. It's been all year, right? He's been so, so close so many times. He's had been to console finals. He's been a PS4 champion, but he's never been a cross console champion. Well, now you can see it behind us. The trophy is stood there. And of course, he is the one who is going to be receiving it. Tom, I'm so happy to say that you yes. are a champion. This is yours, <laughs> 20,000 pounds. You must be over the moon. I can see it in the celebrations. 
Yeah, yeah, I can't lie. Like today I've been really calm. Like I haven't let out like a single emotion for, when did we start this? Six o'clock, five hours ago. And like it finally, to actually win something, I've spent all year like coming second, coming third. Oh, Tom's the best player, but he doesn't actually win. Now to actually win, it, it doesn't feel real yet. I can't lie, it does not feel real. How are you gonna celebrate tonight? Well, look at Shory and Sven. And I'm thinking anything <laughs> anything they wanna do, anything they wanna do, I think we're uh, we are gonna enjoy our night, I'll say that. There you have it. We have a new E-Premier League champion for 2020. It is, of course, hashtag Tom of Watford. He takes home this beautiful trophy. And congratulations once again.